We've now covered how to convert between the metric units in our last video. If this is the first video in the topic you're watching, I would advise watching the last video to familiarize yourself with some of the concepts that we touch upon in this video. However, area and volume work slightly different from those. I'll show you why. Let's say we have this shape. It has an area of 200 centimeters squared. Convert this area into millimeters squared. Based on our last video, the quick reaction would be to use the relationship between centimeters and millimeters and convert. Divide up, multiply across. Given the answer of 2000 millimeters squared. However, this would be incorrect as that shows a relationship between centimeters and millimeters and not centimeters squared and millimeters squared. Let's say my shape had dimensions of 10 centimeters and 20 centimeters. The area is still 200 centimeters squared as 10 centimeters multiplied by 20 centimeters equals to 200 centimeters squared. If I want to convert to millimeters squared, the dimensions must be in millimeters. Changing the dimensions to millimeters by multiplying by 10 gives us 100 millimeters and 200 millimeters. The shape hasn't changed, just how we represent the dimensions. Now to find the area, we multiply 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters, giving the area to be 20,000 millimeters squared instead of 2,000 millimeters squared. This would be the correct conversion. Let's use the same reasoning for this question. This square has an area of 2,500 meters squared. Each side is equal to 50 meters. Convert the area to kilometers squared. We first convert each side to kilometers by dividing by 1,000, giving us 0 0.05 kilometers for each side. Next, we multiply the base and the height. The area is 0 0.0025 kilometers squared. What is happening? What is the relationship between centimeters squared and millimeters squared, or meters squared and kilometers squared? And how does this link to the centimeters and millimeters or meters to kilometers relationship? Well, let's look at our answers and compare it. 200 centimeters squared is equivalent to 20,000 millimeters squared. This is 100 times larger, whereas converting from centimeters to millimeters is only 10 times larger. 2,500 meters squared is equal to 0 0.0025 kilometers squared. One million times smaller, whereas converting from meters to kilometers is only a thousand times smaller. I think there's a pattern. Whatever the original conversion is, the area relationship is squared. Centimeters to millimeters is one to 10. Therefore, centimeters squared to millimeters squared is one squared to 10 squared which is one to 100. Meters to kilometers is a thousand to one. So meters squared to kilometers squared is a thousand squared to one squared, which is a million to one. Using our previous values and these new ratios, divide up, multiply across, divide up and multiply across again, we get the same answers. All right, another question. This odd shape has an area of 3,000 centimeters squared. Convert this area to meters squared. We start with the conversion relationship with centimeters and meters. 100 centimeters is equivalent to one meter. Since it is a squared unit, we'll be using 100 squared to one squared, which is equal to 10,000 to one. Now we divide up, multiply across. 3,000 centimeters squared is equivalent to 0 0.3 meters squared. Let's have a look at volume. This cube has a side length of 23 millimeters. Calculate the volume and give the answer in the unit centimeters cubed. Since we have a cube, the base, height, and length are all equal. We change the millimeters to centimeters by dividing by 10. The volume of the cube is therefore equal to 2.3 times by 2.3 times by 2.3 centimeters, which equals to 12.167 centimeters cubed. We can identify the relationship between millimeters and centimeters and millimeters squared and centimeters squared. But what about millimeters cubed and centimeters cubed? Is there a pattern like before? Well, let's see what happens to our values. 
the volume in millimeters cubed will be equal to 23 times by 23 times by 23, which is equivalent to 12,167 millimeters cubed, which is a thousand times larger than 12.167 centimeters cubed. 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. 10 squared or 100 millimeters squared is equal to one squared or just one centimeter squared for area. So it's natural that it will follow the same pattern for volume. 10 cubed or a thousand millimeters cubed is equal to one cubed or one centimeters cubed for volume. The ratio gets cubed for the relationship between the volumes. So laying out our information like we usually do, 12,167 divided by 10 cubed, which is 1,000, multiplied by one equals to 12.167 centimeters cubed. Another question, convert 0.2 kilometers cubed to centimeters cubed. We would convert the value from kilometers cubed to meters cubed, then meters cubed to centimeters cubed. The ratio for kilometers to meters cubed is one cubed to 1000 cubed, as we know the conversion between kilometers to meters is 1000 to one. Divide up, multiply across. 0 0.2 kilometers is equivalent to 200 million meters cubed. The ratio for meters cubed to centimeters cubed is one cubed to 100 cubed. 200 million meters cubed divided by one multiplied by 100 cubed equals to 200 trillion centimeters cubed. This is why we have different units. This value, as correct as it is, is quite large and quite ridiculous to write. So 0 0.2 kilometers cubed is a more reasonable way of representing our value for the volume. So to summarize, when converting area or volume units, square and cube the length relationship, respectively, then use that relationship to convert between units. Try out these questions. If you like this series, be sure to comment, like and subscribe to be kept updated on new in-depth videos and most importantly, share. I mean, what's the point of knowledge if you can't share it, right? And if we can make some people not give up on maths because of these videos, then our job is done. Don't see a topic you need help with? Suggest topics in the comments section. Thanks again for watching and for learning.